Hi everyone, my name is Willow Shire. Uh, for those of you not familiar with my work, I'm a spiritual artist, an extraterrestrial guide, and I am somebody who works with beings of other realms and other dimensions, other planets through the quantum field, uh, even physically as well, uh, depending on how they show up and present to me. And I work with them to help uh, clients connect with them, understand who's around them, understand who's here to help them, and those beings could be extraterrestrial, interdimensional, extra-dimensional gods, goddesses, ancestors, fairies, dragons, and a vast number of other beings. And my work primarily is about connecting people to their divine council, their divine teams, to help them on their journey so that they can reclaim their sovereignty, so that they can become a full energetic version of self, to become an authentic version of themselves, to always feel they can rely on themselves and not have to go to a uh, outside source. And part of that work is in connecting you to these beings so that they can help you raise your vibration, understand what is authentic to you, understand your journey, your path, and especially what you need to heal. And so on this journey, uh, I started out years ago with spirit art, or not years ago, but it's been two, almost two years now, yeah, year and a half, so I'm doing spirit art publicly, and I've been doing spirit art for a long time, but it was simple sketch work at first. It was simple readings where I was doing a sketch and bringing through an ET, uh, a guide of some kind, giving people a written reading, like just a paragraph of text. And over time, it, it evolved, and it evolved to the point where we can do a lot more complicated, in-depth work to help clients and help those around them. Uh, it started out with the simplicity of something kind of uh, just as simple as one of these. This is a quick, quick art reading right here. Uh, this is one of my guides, Atreyu, who's a, a Lyran, a very quick sketch that I can do in five minutes with a marker. And then I do those quick readings and I give people a little paragraph of text. Uh, I also do light codes. This is a light code, a manifestation Lyran light code that Atreyu helped me bring through on the 88 portal back in August that they wanted to share. And then over time, um, you know, I started out without color. So the marker work is pretty new, but I started without color. And over time, it grew in, it grew into um more complicated uh artwork more detailed uh more colorful and i started doing full spirit art readings as i call them where i give people a 30 minute session and i draw a being around them like this zeta this is a being from zeta reticuli and a contact code and this is the contact code over here and people can use those codes that are personalized to them and that being to help them connect to the beings that are around them. So I have a lot of this stuff on my social media platform, a lot of these images and things that I draw that are very detailed and kind of show you the, the uh, energy of that being. Some of them look like this, like this one looked pretty close to this image. And some of them, we just draw the energy of those beings. And then as this developed, it kept developing, it kept growing, and my guides would say, do this, tweak it this way, go this way, and we came up with this thing called a Divine Council Transmission. Now, at first, it came up through uh, a combination of work I was doing and uh, my friend over at O'Bailey at Elysion Exchange. We were putting our heads together trying to figure out things to do. And this is one of the things that came from those conversations was a divine council transmission. Now the divine council transmission started as a much smaller project than it is now. It started off, I did my first one where I brought through uh, a client came to me. Uh, they wanted a transmission and I connected with their energy and I drew on a nine by 16 piece of paper or nine by 12, sorry, a nine by 12 piece of paper. Um, I drew a collective of, I believe about 15 beings, if I remember right, that first drawing, that was the first stage of this, this project. 
and then wrote up a series of readings for them, for each being, telling them what the messaging was, what the healing, the career, the different life paths that they could take, and the timelines and these types of things. So we continued doing this work, and as we continued doing it, it kept growing. Every transmission brought more. My guides were helping me figure out how to lay these out in a way that could bring through the most intense energy, the most powerful energy, and bring it through in a way people could understand, people could digest, they could utilize, and in a way that would help them use it for more than just entertainment, for more than just getting a reading, to use it to connect, to use it to develop themselves, to use it to heal themselves, to use it to guide them on life changes in their trajectories, to use it to help them, not just as a reading, but as a tool, as a guidebook. One of my clients recently called it a spiritual guidebook, to use it as a spiritual guidebook for your life journey over the next year to year and a half. My guides say, depending on the client, it can be good for about a year most of the time, sometimes a year and a half or a little bit farther out, depending on choices that are made. So we put our heads together and we came up with these Divine Council transmissions. And here is one that I did recently. And this is a 9 by 12 piece, piece here. You can see here's the finished result and all of the beings that are on it. Now, as we sit here and it, see if I can hold it a little bit more appropriately. As we sit here and look at this divine transmission, you can see there are a lot more beings than just this piece of art. This piece of art is much simpler. This is a normal spirit art reading where I can focus on one being, one energy, and work on bringing that through. This has 30, there's over 30 here. Um, I don't remember, it's like 32, 33 or something like that. But over the, the energy work that this takes, like the normal spirit art reading takes me, you know, the half hour session with a client and then I spend uh, some energy afterwards drawing and connecting to that being and writing it. That I can do that in one to two days at most. Uh, you know, the session's a half hour and the drawing takes a day. It's just a matter of scheduling it. This piece with all the energy work that goes into it takes 10 days. Uh, the, the average has been 10 days lately between connecting, between drawing, doing the initial pencil sketch. And I'll show you a video uh, that you'll see even after this video, a quick video, kind of one of those um, staged videos of pencils to markers to all that. But I do the initial pencil sketch where I channel all of these beings and sketch them out. And then I put them in different areas. We've started putting them in areas. So like this is angelics up here. This is dragons and sky beings. This is fairies, inner earth, galactics. And for this one, it was a little unique because they specifically, normally they pull out different realms, but this one, you know, galactic angels, that sort of thing, and put them in the spaces. This was specifically Orion uh, for this client. Then we have deep underwater. So these were a collective of deep underwater beings. This was a portal gatekeeper, and these were beings that uh, were closer to the top of the water, like, you know, the canopy of the water, or the, the higher, higher up shallow water. And then they all come through. Then we do the marker work, then we do the color work, and then after we do the color work, we start putting light codes in, and you'll see light codes all around this piece for this client, different codes that have different things that they can meditate on and heal with and use for their journey. And so I spend about 10 days working on this where I bring through all of those beings. Then I sit down after I do the artwork and I do the reading and I connect to each one individually. And we sit there, uh, usually takes about two to three days. And I type up the, the reading over those days. And normally I don't do any other work during that time. I'm dedicated to doing this energy work. Uh, a lot of clearing, a lot of salt baths, a lot of uh, just a lot of energy moving through. I've even seen my pencil spark when I'm doing this work with these specific transmissions. 
uh, had beings pop into my room, had them, you know, astral traveled to them, remote viewed them, all those types of things. Tons of energy going on with this stuff. And so as I type, I don't ask them any questions. I prefer my clients don't ask me the questions, that they keep the questions to themselves. In 90% of the time, they get uh, all of their questions answered. Sometimes there are a few that don't go answered, but it's kind of hidden in some of the cryptic messaging or, or that sort of thing that they find later on. And they come back and they're like, oh, it was answered, but it was, I didn't realize it at the time because I wasn't ready for that message. And then most of the time they get all their questions answered without me ever knowing what the questions were. And it's a reading, it's a 25 page reading typically of just these beings coming through, speaking to me and telling me to talk to you about things. They'll talk to you about past experiences, about your past lives, about your future life, about your career, your health, your, uh, re um, you know, relationships. And I'll, I'll say, just to be clear, we don't, I don't ever guide on uh, whether you should or should not be in a relationship, but they'll provide guidance about different aspects of relationship. Uh, they provide codes, they provide techniques and tools you can use to help you on your journey, to help your career, to help your spiritual growth in that type of thing and guidance on what paths and doorways to take that might be best for you, that might be the options for you on this journey. So then after we do that, we go back and this is really quick. This takes me less than a day, a few hours at most because I've already connected to those beings. And when I connect to those beings, uh, my guides and I, we download a lot of extra stuff. Um, when you're telepathic in communication in this quantum way, you can pull in energy without having to use it right away and then utilize it later. So then we develop the contact code wheel. Contact code wheel is similar to this. Every one of these pie slices is a contact code, light code, for one of those beings in that transmission. And then, so we write that up real quick. We draw it up, color it, however it appears in our mind from the downloads we had. Then we reconnect and we say, okay, what are the instructions? What are the intentions? Now, those are ways for you to meditate on one of those codes, to pick a being you're intuitively aligned with at the time meditate on that code and then follow the intentional instructions they give because those instructions create an intention to connect with them and allow you to come into that space uh, more easily than a lot of people have. A lot of people that come to me have trouble connecting to these other beings because they're not they're not practiced at it and they're not practiced with the vibrations. They all have different vibrations that we have to connect to. So these contact codes help people. And even just with this, this client here, they um, uh, had the reading delivered and went out to the ocean. Uh, a few days later, walked into the ocean and two of the beings they were able to connect with after the reading. And then there, um, they had um, uh, a child who was able to see one of the beings without them ever knowing the reading had even been done and use the name and validate it to the client that the being was there. Um, so it's very powerful energy, very powerful toolkit that you can use on your journey. Now, part of this is that you get the art. A lot of people just see the artwork. They don't see anything else but this on Instagram. And they think it's just a piece of art. It's not. It's the energy. It's the toolkit. It's the reading you don't see behind it. The 25-page reading that comes with it. It's all of that put together to help you on your journey. Then afterwards, you get... Uh, well, during it, I update you constantly as, you're, as I'm doing the work. And a lot of people feel new energies come in. They feel their guides. They feel heightened awareness. They feel downloads and have experiences while I'm doing the work. And then afterwards, uh, we schedule a two hour session where you process the reading for, I generally recommend a week, uh, people to process and kind of read through it a couple times, feel into it so they can figure out questions, 
and things of that nature. Then we hop on a Zoom call and we sit down for up to two hours and just talk about whatever you want to talk about regarding the reading. These are not one and done types of things. These are things that you do them, uh, you get the energy work, and it's a tool to carry you on through the next year to year and a half. Uh, so I wanted to make sure everybody knew that because a lot of people, you know, a spirit art reading isn't, you know, something like this. It has a contact code with it. You can use it. Um, use a contact code in a regular spirit art reading to connect to your guide. But it, it's more of that type of uh, a lot of people kind of don't use it consistently. They use it a few times. They connect to their guide. Once they connect to their guide, they don't need to use it anymore because they have that connection built. They're building that connection. They can just go into meditation and connect and talk. This is a year of work. It takes time to work through all of these beings. You can't do it in one day. Um, so it's a project. It's a commitment. It's a piece of artwork, but a piece of energy and far more. It's a collective of beings who can help you on your journey. So if you're interested in that, that's really what a divine council transmission is. And it comes with some other things you can see listed on the website. It comes with a, um, like a loyalty program uh, so that you get discounts on future spirit art readings. It comes with the sessions. Uh, you can get the, p the physical piece shipped to you in the US for free. And if you're outside of the US, I just provide uh, an estimate and then I take off what I have budgeted for shipping. And if you pay the the um, the rest of the shipping, I ship it to you out of the country, uh, that type of thing. And comes with the contact code. Uh, and I no, I can't think of anything else coming to mind. So uh, read through the the description uh, again. If uh, you're really looking to amp up your spiritual journey to connect more to all these different beings and all these different realms in the divine councils, the divine teams that I talk about often on um, social media and in my videos and stuff. This is a great way to do it. You can start with something small like a quick reading. You can start with, which in a quick reading uh, is more that marker type work. You can start with something kind of mid-range where you only connect with one being and I connect with one being and provide you a reading more like this which can be more, a little interesting too because I can provide a lot more detail and focus on one being than I can when I'm connecting to 30 energies. If, you're, if you've ever done energy work, this is a lot more intensive, even though it's a, you know, the size is not much bigger. It's a lot more intensive energetically to do this than the other piece. But this gives you so much more information and value for your journey and can connect you and prepare you for the shifts, prepare you for the existence of other realms and other beings. So anybody who's interested, um, if you have any concerns, any questions, reach out to me. You can reach out on my website, awakenwithwillow.com. You can reach out on social media. All my social media is at awakenwithwillow. Uh, you know, comment on this video, those types of things. And I'll answer your questions, help you out, and try to help you decide um, when you're looking at spirit art readings, what is best for you? Is a contact code better for you? Is a general spirit art reading, a quick reading, a this type of thing? Or maybe you're one of those people starting out where you're not quite ready for that and you're looking more for some of the free workshops and uh, courses and stuff that I'm doing as well just to start getting your feet wet uh, as far as what's out there. But if you're connected, if you're intuitive and trying to enhance your intuition those are the types of readings i do and the divine council transmission is definitely the most intensive one you can uh find uh currently as i do this video uh, as i know my art is developing i have other projects in my mind uh to, to help people on their journey and then uh it helps me too because i get to have a lot of fun i get to have a lot of fun doing it drawing these beings I got to meet like with this one here there are all kinds of new beings this is a, a planet uh, outside of Orion that people don't really know about 
uh, C, C type of merfolk type people. There are galactics in here that we a lot of us know about, like here the Lyran, a Zeta, an Arturian, a Pleiadian, inner earth beings, a Minotaur. Not quite sure what he was. He was not a Sasquatch, he was something else, a gnome, deep sea creatures. This one's guarding a portal uh, to other worlds in the ocean. Then these are a bunch of different ocean creatures, dragons. It's a lot of fun drawing all those, a lot of fun. And I feel like for clients, it's even more fun reading them and then getting the validation in your reality that they actually exist and they are actually connecting with you. Um, and that validation comes through many ways. Like I said, this client had validation through um, the going out to the ocean, connecting with them, and then the, one of their kids saw one of the dragons and was able to name it without them ever knowing about this reading. Uh, the client before that uh, had validation through the way that they brought through past experiences and described them that I could never know. Past experiences in the mountains with ETs, uh, other clients have had validation of that nature, career validation, all kinds of different things. And so it's not just a tool and a project for you on your spiritual journey. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to read those, to feel the love, to feel the energy, and then to embark on that journey of uh, meeting galactics, meeting dragons, meeting your divine council, and building the energy, building the protection, building the the sovereignty is the biggest thing building your sovereignty by working with these other beings to help you understand you are powerful you are beautiful you are unique you don't need anybody else you don't even you don't even need these beings necessarily they're here to help you regain that's the key word regain your sovereignty to become a powerful individual powerful energy and to have beings in all these different vibrations, realms, planets, places uh, that if you decide, hey, I want to go astrally explore someplace, you have beings who can help you. When extraterrestrials land, you have friends and family who can telepathically guide you, protect you, who, who may even physically come down and meet with you or astrally meet with you. These are enormous tools, whether it's a quick reading, a... Uh, detailed spirit art reading or a divine council transmission. So if you're interested, please, uh, you know, reach out. Let me know if you have any questions. You can purchase these on my website. And uh, I think that's all. That's there. I'm in a half channel state as I'm talking about this. They're telling me, talk about this, talk about that. And nothing else is coming through right now. So I'm going to say that's probably about all. And just to say, Thank you for watching. I love you all. I'm grateful for all of you who support me. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to sign up for my social media, TikTok, uh, threads, Instagram, at Awaken with Willow. They're all at Awaken with Willow. And uh, you can see the free content, the light code activations, the spirit art, all that type of thing. And ask me questions too. Thank you again. I love you all. Uh, have a beautiful day. I'm grateful for each and every one of you.